right, we're out here on the river today checking out a couple brand new spots. I've never been here before, so this could be a day of nothing or new discovery. Stay tuned. All right, after two stops, all we found so far is two sinkers. But I just stopped at a new spot right here. It looks kind of nice. It's got a nice clay bank. And look at that. That's a piece of repair material for a ship, I believe. It's copper, and it's old. I like it. I just, this is my first first hit. Just stepped out of the boat, so we're going to check it out right now. All right, check this out. This is definitely a piece of an old piece of a boat. I don't know how old that would be, but uh, it's all got copper fittings and all, and copper nails, so it's, it's not new, that's for sure. Uh, we might save that, actually, and just kind of clean it up and make a little display out of it. I think it'd be kind of cool. What do y'all think? All right, let's do that. All right, I found a bunch of these old brass spikes that probably held a boat together. Probably not real, real old, but somewhat old, early 1900s maybe. But uh, I got a feeling there's a boat here to just kind of disintegrate and it's left pieces everywhere. So we're going to move on and see if we can check another spot. This is our third stop. We're going for our fourth right now. All right, here's a cool little bottle right here. It's probably not that old, but kind of shape I don't recognize real soon. But I will check it out. That's kind of cool looking though. We'll save that. All right, we're in a somewhat historical area right here. And look at the bricks up on the shoreline. See all the bricks up there? I like that. And I've been hitting a bunch of old brass pipe, copper pipe. And a couple, look, we've got a nice little bottom of a clay pot. Could be old. We're going to keep checking right here for a little bit. And uh, this is our, what, like our third stop. And then we got our fourth and a fifth stop coming up. So anyway, stay tuned. We'll see if we can't find something. Yahoo! I got my first find of the day, a Civil War bullet. Awesome. I knew this was a big Civil War area, but I hadn't found anything yet. But that's pretty cool. A nice drop bullet. That's a good start. All right, let's keep looking. Awesome. All right, I just dig a, did a dig about mm, 20 feet from shore. And look at this. Clay bottom. I like it. It ain't going any deeper than that. And what it was in here is a lead sink uh, for a net or something. But... I just did a little test, but knowing that that clay is right there, I'll have to go out a little further because I know things won't be that deep. Awesome. I just want to show you all this. There's a lot of pieces of pottery and glass all in here. Some of it's older and some of it's not. I got a bag full of it I'll show you in a little bit, but uh, I think some of it's real old, some of it's more modern. But we'll check it out and when we get back in home and uh, sort it out. All right, here's what I need some help with. Anybody got any idea on that one? Big old brass pot. Don't, I actually got some writing on it, I think, maybe. I think that could be corrosion right there. All right, we'll have to take that back and clean it up and see what that is. That's kind of interesting looking, though. Full of mud, though. We got to clean it out. All right, we got another unknown, but it looks like a musical type thing, doesn't it? I think. Kind of cool, though. I like that. Found some weird stuff in here. All right, let's bag that and keep moving. That's interesting. All right, found something that might be a little cooler. Check that out. I don't know markings on it. That's kind of neat looking. What is it, though? I have no clue. I know when y'all be able to tell me that, probably. But we're getting some weird stuff out here. I'm telling you that. Getting all kind of goodies in my bag. is full on my side. I'm starting to put stuff in my basket here just to get it back to the boat. All right, let's keep looking. Uh, guess I'll stay here a few more minutes. I got a couple more spots to go, but... We're finding stuff, so let's stick around a little bit longer. All right, I had literally had to clean a spot in my cool just to put all my stuff. My bag was overflowing. I got lots of bottle pieces in here. Not sure how old they are. So that screws, that's not that old. But some of these might be able to tell by the seam on them. Got civil bullet there. We got this thing here. Brass. Got all kind of stuff in here to check out when we get home. We'll clean it all up and see if we can see some... Uh, inscriptions or dates or something or something here but all right let's keep going the day is still young so let's keep getting up all right i just stumbled upon a really cool spot look at all the chesapeake and jeffersonia shells in here this is a uh old fossil site here that's awesome i've never been here before look at them all they're all in here that means it could be shark's teeth in here too wow look at the shark look at the fossils up they come out of that hill right here, I guess. It's pretty cool, though. We might pick a couple of those up. The nice ones. Look at that sticking out of the ground. Right there. Oh, that's a big one, too. She's stuck. I can't even move it. All right, let's check this area out. This looks pretty kind of cool. Oh, we got our first coin of the day. Check it out. 
I'm not sure what it is yet. But it's old. I can see it. Look, it might be ending here, but it's got that white on it like a silver, so. I don't know. It could be a Seated Liberty. Oh my God, awesome. Relic time. All right, we might have some here. Got it now, guys, a colonial button. I think this could be a good spot. I think we might be here the rest of the day, potentially. All right, let's keep getting up. All right, we hit this spot and got a eight, it looks like an 1836 coin and a uh, colonial button right off the bat. And I said, oh, man, this is this is it. So, been hunting now for about 20 minutes. They got nothing, Harley. Little bullets and stuff, but we're gonna keep trying here. I'm actually breaking out the Equinox to see how it does in here. I'm putting Excalibur up and uh, see how the Equinox does. All right, let's do it. All right, check out all the fiddler crabs. Watch them start running when I walk up on them. Look at them all. That's amazing, ain't it? And this, I, I call this the filler crab tree. Look at that. Them things are packed in there. Ain't no, no vacancies available. There is no vacancies in that tree. Look, they're falling back out. Run all up on it. There. But that tree is packed full. Man, if we were going fishing, that would be the, this would be the place to come to get some bait. Good golly. They are everywhere. Man, we're not getting this in another spot. We just stopped at. And getting nothing. I dug two cans a foot down. So uh, this is not what we want. That hill right there looks kind of nice, but uh, I got nothing. All right, we're going to go back to old spot. We're about to wrap it up and call it a day here just a minute, I think. But we'll check us a little bit more. All right, we're going to call that a wrap. Uh, we got a nice variety of stuff today. Um, some things I know there are. A couple things y'all might have to help me figure it out. But um, it was a good day, you know. It was a nice day. It's nice and calm right here where I'm at right now. I had a little bit of weather going back, uh, a little bit of waves going back, but not bad. So it's been a beautiful day. No no storms or nothing. Didn't get wet today either. All right, stay tuned. Let's get home and check out what we got. Man, we really had a wide variety of relics today. Um, say five relics because some of them did a little bit of both. But anyway, uh, let's check out what we got. It's Got my head all wound up. Check it out. And I'm gonna need some help from some of y'all on what some of this stuff might be. Uh, this right here, I, I hit about start off. I hit about six spots today. Some of them were just bust, maybe a couple sinkers, whatever. And then a couple of them had a lot of stuff in it. But uh, this came, these and these came. I think it was stock three, maybe. But uh, anyway, I don't know if that's part of a ship. How long ago did they use all this brass like that? I don't know. Barge ship. I don't know. Uh, all these were coming out of there too. I think that's probably some kind of ship uh, ship items there. Um, then I had another stop. I think it was stop four maybe. We found a lot of the, a lot of pottery in here and a lot of bottles. Check out these bottles and some of these. We'll go into a little more detail on those in a second. But these bottles and a lot of this right here came out of there. A lot of this brass and this piece of brass and this piece of brass and a Civil War bullet came out of there. But anyway, this one here, I have no clue what that one is. It's a big old copper container. Something's in it, too. I didn't realize it, but uh, I was one of these, uh, when I was cleaning up, throwing everything in here, it got stuck in here. These are rolled lead. It's lead just rolled up in a roll. I think we found some in a different spot, but we found some of those. But as far as the brass items go, I think that's some kind of valve or something. It's got a little screw down. Just some brass fittings. This, I think, is some kind of musical note thing. What it would go on, I don't know. I don't know which way it goes either. I'm not a musician there, but uh, this thing here is kind of cool. It's like a plate, brass plate. That's kind of neat looking. Uh, just a little piece of brass there. I'm not sure what that is. Um, let's see what else is from that site. Oh, these bottles. Let's talk about the bottles. I know screw tops were later on. Uh, some of these aren't screw tops. So I don't know how they all they are. Some of them, I know some of y'all said something about the, uh, and Dan Frieza told me, you know, it depends on how far up this thing goes. And this one actually stops right at the at the uh, neck of it. So I think that one might be old. I don't see anything. Out there. And it does have some uh, air bubbles in it. Also. I think that one's probably pretty old. This one I actually looked up in the 1920s, actually. It says, um, New You. And, it's, and it comes in different flavors and all. And, uh, says flavors you can't forget on it. So I kind of looked at it. I found that one. That one, one of those bottles sold for like seven or ten bucks on eBay or something. But it's kind of interesting. But uh, some of these other, but I just saved some of these kind of look. I haven't looked at exactly all the necks. That one looks like it comes up about quarter of the way on the neck. That might be late 1800s maybe. I think is what if I remember correctly. 
Yeah, some of these different ones are coming up different different heights. That one comes all the way up to right below the top piece. So that one might be late on, in the early 1900 or something. Um, and then, it, it, uh, let's see what stop was it. Um, then another stop, like stop five, I got a few coins. I got two colonial buttons. Uh, actually, I thought that was a coin. But after I got it on a microscope, I can see the little tail for the button. And that's definitely a colonial button there. And that's a wheat penny. Uh, this is one of my main finds. 1836 half dime. And I'll put some pictures up there of it right there on the side. But that's my best find right there today. Uh, these are the modern pennies there. Uh, another stop. And that came actually from the stop here. It's like stop six or whatever. It had all kind of fossil shells in it. They're a lot dirtier than the ones I've been getting, or at least they're black anyway. Uh, the other ones don't seem to be like that. These have actually turned color on me. It was kind of interesting. I just kept a few just to kind of, kind of check them out. There's a bunch of these little caps in there. I'm not sure what they are. But uh, a bunch of those in there. I think they're just, uh, I think they're just shells, old shells that have been eat up. I think what they are. Uh, but that coin was one of my best finds. Got did get one Civil War bullet. So we got a whole spectrum here of all kind of stuff. So yeah, I thought it was kind. Of, it's a lot of fun just finding all the different stuff. You know, it's a lot of fun out treasure hunting when you get a lot of variety of stuff. I like that. But anyway, I appreciate everybody coming along. Uh, if you like it, please click like, comment below, subscribe to the Gig Master. Thanks for coming along.